Nativity 2, Danger in the Manger is a unique festive movie in that it was entirely improvised and shot in sequence. The cast includes Pam Ferris, Joanna Page, Jessica Hines, and of course the film star David Tennant. He plays a teacher who has to juggle an irritating classroom assistant, a pregnant wife, a classroom of children, and a donkey on a road trip to the National Song for Christmas competition. Let's win a song for Christmas! Yeah! We're gonna win it. You're not gonna win it. We're gonna win it. Chat you to you. Chat you to you. Chat you to you. Ah! And right, David, so set this up for us, yes. okay, right? You've got a classroom full of kids. Yes. A donkey. Yes. No script. Yes. And a director shouting, make it up, make it up. I know. I mean, even for an actor of well, your you season, you, you make it up. You don't have any, you have any choice. Daunting still. Oh, it was terrifying. Yeah, no, I mean, but that's why, you know, that's why you do certain things, isn't it? Because you kind of go, that's, I've never done that before, that'll be utterly terrifying, so I'll have a go. Well, that's what Christmas is all about, family. The only problem was I didn't get on with my family, especially my twin brother, Roderick. But I wasn't going to let that spoil things, no. And you get to play two characters. So I do. there's, two, there's, there's you, you're twins. Yes. How, do, how are they different? Uh, one different. has a pair of glasses and one doesn't. Bit of hair gel. Yeah. And they both have subtly different Scottish accents. <laughs> you see, oh, you do the posh one, you do the pen loaf, don't I you? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do, yeah. See, the, everyone's looking around us, all the, we're down in London, folks. Yeah. And they're like going, what the heck's pen loaf? You don't know what pen loaf, do it, go on. It's sort of furthered back in the throat and it thinks it's speaking English. Exactly. Yeah. Pen, it's, it's not a pan loaf, it's a pen loaf. It's sort of, yeah, it's a little bit sort of Scottish Tory politician. No, oh! oh! God, are you all right? Yeah, I'm just a bit stuck. So what about you? I mean, you're a family man now, you've got a kid. Has Christmas changed for you because of that or were you always big on Christmas? I've always been fairly, yeah, I've always loved a bit of Christmas. You can't, I mean, it's just, it's great Christmas, isn't it? Well done. Although no one likes to show off, do they? Now, the cast were lovely. David Tennant, lovely man, great to interview, got a great, fantastic interview. But, oh my goodness, get the cranberry sauce out, the turkey has landed. Where do we go with this? Not very far, it's Bowfin, basically. Bowfin? It's Bowfin! <laughs> I feel as if I'm betraying David Tennant because he's such a lovely guy and such a talented actor. But I do remember specifically a moment where he's emoting and his eyes are filling with tears. I'm thinking, what a waste of talent! <laughs> but we should temper it with the fact that at the screening we were at, people were laughing. There was a real age range families in and, and folk were laughing, so, you know, maybe it will appeal to some people. Yeah, well, appeal to younger kids, Steve. I think so. The screen that I was at, the kids were kind of relatively, you know, engaged, but they were quite restless at the same time. It's, it sounds quite scroogey to kick a kid's film into a festive film, but I'm struggling with positive things to say about it, I really am. Something completely different is End of Watch. For me, it was a slow burn. I mean, I, I did look at my watch an awful lot on watching End of Watch. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it won me over eventually. I saw the trailer and thought, oh, this is not for me. This is incredibly violent, lots of guns.